Hello everyone, welcome to the Catalyst Center video series. My name is Surya Prakash. I am a technical marketing engineer working with Cisco. In this video, I will be talking about how to view, edit and add layer 2 configurations on Catalyst 9000 series switches using the per device configuration feature of Catalyst Center. Per device configuration is one of the latest features introduced in Catalyst Center version 2379 where we enable customers to add devices from their existing network infrastructure and provide the ability to visualize the configuration on the Catalyst Center UI. And then we also provide the ability to manage the configuration of the switches. For example, if a user wanted to modify or delete the existing configuration or add new configuration to the devices, this can be done with the help of per device configuration feature. There are some prerequisites for per device config feature to work. Firstly, this feature is available for Catalyst 9000 series switches running iOS XE version 17.3 or above. The Catalyst Center version required is 2.3.7.9 or later. Device license required is DNA Essentials. And for devices that are already configured with SD access intent, per device config feature will only provide visibility of the layer 2 configuration for those devices. Now let's see how we can visualize the layer 2 configuration of the switches. Once we have added the switch to the inventory, we'll be able to visualize the layer 2 configuration of the switch by going to the device detail page. Once we are in the device detail page, it opens at the summary section where we can see the chassis view of the switch. Along with the chassis view, we also get to see the summary of layer 2 configuration present on the switch. For example, the CDP status, the LLDP, number of VLANs configured on the switch, number of ports, the spanning tree mode, the VTP mode, etc. Now further from here, from the chassis view, we can select a particular port to see the layer 2 configurations present under that particular port. So here we'll be able to see what is the switch port mode running on the switch, whether is it access or trunk port, what is the VLAN configured on the switch, along with related switch port configurations, port channel configurations, panning tree, dot one x etc. Now on the left hand side, we have the configuration menu. Here we will be able to see a layer 2 drop down. Now this is where we will be able to see all the layer 2 configurations present on the switch. So we can browse through each of this menus to see the relevant layer 2 configuration. So if we go to VLAN, we'll be able to see the, all the VLANs that are configured on the switch. We can go to STP to see the STP related configurations, what is the mode of spanning tree running, whether port fast is enabled. We can see the number of VLANs that are running spanning tree along with the priority and the timers configured on them. We can go to port configurations to see individual port level configurations. So we can select any particular port to see the layer 2 configuration present on that port. So we can browse through each of these protocols to see the relevant layer 2 configuration. Let's see how we can modify the existing layer 2 configuration on the switch. From the chassis view, we can select a particular port. Under the layer 2 configurations of the port, we can go to edit. This opens the edit workflow for the port. From here, we can start modifying the configurations. For example, we can change the description, change the VLAN ID here and save the settings. We also have the ability to delete the configurations from the port. So we can delete the entire configuration of a port. For example, we can select a particular port, go to edit and then set to default. This deletes all the configurations on the port. So similar to port configuration, we can edit the VLAN. We can go and select a particular VLAN, go to edit and change the VLAN name. Similarly, we can also change VTP settings. We can change the VTP mode from transparent to server and then proceed further. This takes the user through the VCR workflow where the user can visualize the configuration that is getting pushed by the Catalyst Center. And once the user has reviewed the configuration, 
the user can proceed by deploying the configuration. So once deployed, we can go back to the device detail page to see the modifications that have happened. So on the chassis view, again select the same port and we'll be able to see the modification. Now let's see how we can add layer to configuration on the switches. From the configuration menu, go to layer 2 section, go to VLAN, from here go to edit, go to add VLAN and enter the VLAN ID, enter the VLAN name and save the settings. Similarly, we can also add STP configurations, go to STP, enable port fast from here, go to DHCP snooping and add the VLAN that we just created. We can also add port related configuration, go to port configuration and from here select the desired port. So we can select one or multiple ports from here, go to edit and then st start adding the configuration. Select the protocol that we want under the port, for example dot one x Switch port related configurations. And then proceed to add from here. Start adding the configurations. So switch port mode description. Switch port mode. Search for the VLAN that we just created from the list. Select the VLAN. Admin status to be enabled. Dot one x authentication mode. Host mode. And select the authentication order. Select the protocol from here. We can change the order just by dragging and dropping. So once selected, we can save the settings. Again save. From here, we can proceed to the provision. So the workflow takes the user through the VCR process where the user can visualize the layer 2 configuration getting added by Catalyst Center. So once reviewed, the user can proceed to deploy. Now once deployed, we can go back to the device detail page, go to the configuration section, under the layer 2, we should be able to see the new VLAN that we just configured. We can also validate the port configuration from here. That brings us to the end of this video. These are some of the references that you can use to gain more insights on per device configuration. For more training videos, please visit the Catalyst Center YouTube channel. Thank you.